To do this effect in Resolve, we first need a video clip, which we have right here. And we'll just drag it over here to our timeline viewer and say to insert it. That will create a timeline and add the clip to it. And there it is. I'm gonna select this clip because the next thing we need is some text. So we go over to the effects library, under toolbox, titles, here's text. And I will again, drag this over and I'm gonna say place on top here. And uh, now we have some text over our video right here. You can see the word title. So what we need to do for starters is we need to change the order in which these occur on the timeline. So we want the video on top. And now you can see the title has disappeared. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the composite mode of this clip. And we do that by looking at the inspector. And the first object here is composite and it's set to normal. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it to multiply. Now, if you're familiar with uh, still image editing applications like Photoshop, these are typically called blend modes and you can see them here. But in Resolve, they're called composite mode, but they work exactly the same as uh, they do in Photoshop. So we come down to multiply right there. And now title is showing the video through it. The title's pretty small. So what we're gonna do is we're going to edit the title so that it's a little uh, better for our purpose here. And we'll do that by changing the number of letters for starters to R-A-W and make them all capital, R-A-W. Now they're still a little bit small, so we might as well size them on up. Come on, there we go. And also the typeface that's in use here is not very thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to Arial Black, which all these computers, Mac, Windows, whatever, should all have this typeface on them. So up here somewhere, Arial Narrow, Arial Black. Now you can see it's nice, big and thick, and we can actually see the video through it. We can also um, change the zoom factor on this. And we do that by adjusting video over here on the title tool. And we can see we have a zoom. We can get rid of this. And now we can change the height of the letters so that they better match the video. Might even wanna move it up slightly just to kind of even things out a little bit. And now I will come down to our timeline, make it the active window. You can see that red line across the top of the timeline. That means it's the active panel. And now we'll play the video. And there it is playing. It's not playing very uh, quickly, certainly not in real time because this is just a little bit of a laptop. And uh, it's having to do quite a bit of calculation to figure out where to put the video in the image. So anyways, I hope this uh, helps some folks and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.